Hey guys, thanks for joining us for our first devotional of our Joy Week. And so I, I wanted to take today and just set up joy because do we, we even know the definition of joy? Do we even know biblically what joy is? Is joy happiness? Is, is happiness joy? What is joy? And so when we look at this, we can understand that joy and happiness are actually two different things. When we look at happiness, happiness is based on external things. Joy is based off of something that is internal. So happiness is based off the situations that are happening around us. And joy is based off the things that are happening in us. And so when we look at happiness, it's easy for us to understand happiness because happiness is situational. When our kids are healthy, when our, when our families are healthy, we're happy, right? We're good. When our, when our jobs are good and we're making money and we have our salary so that we can buy things that we enjoy, we're happy. That's situational. That's good. When our marriage is good, when relationships are good, we're happy. We can have that, we can have that fulfillment and we can have that excitement and we can put a smile on our face because things are going the way that we want them to go. And we have the resources and the ability to make ourselves smile and make ourselves feel good. But what happens when you no longer have the money to make you happy? What happens when you no longer have the ability to make sure your kid or someone you love is healthy? What happens when you can no longer fix a relationship and bring happiness to that? Are you still able to have a smile on your face? Are you still able to be excited? So here's a definition of joy. Joy is having the assurance in our lives, the, the confidence in knowing that God is in control of every single detail. And it's also having the confidence that God is with you in every little thing and that gives you the hope, that gives you the strength to praise Him no matter the situation. And so we see this type of joy in 1 Peter. And I want to turn over there and read you this scripture in 1 Peter chapter 1 starting with verse 6. It says, So be truly glad. There is wonderful, what? There is wonderful joy ahead for you in your life today. It says, even though you have endured many trials for a little while, and you probably can relate to that, right? You've enjoyed a, some trials here lately. Even despite all of the stuff that we're going through, maybe all the stuff that we're going through doesn't even matter to you because you've got other trials and you've got other things and other difficulties that you're going through. This is just another on top of a trial. It says, no matter how many trials that you've been going through, these trials will show your faith and how genuine that faith is. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through your many trials, it will bring much praise and glory and honor on the day when Christ Jesus is revealed to the whole world. And here the last verse is. It says, you love Him, you love God, even though you have never seen Him. That's faith. That you know you have a confidence that I know that God is real. How do I know that God is real? Is because there's things that have occurred in my life that cannot be explained by mere logic and by mere words and by mere wisdom. The only thing that I can explain to you that how something or why something has happened is because God has done it. I know that He is real. And because I know that He is real, though you do not see Him now, we trust in Him. We trust that God is in control of every detail. And you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward of trusting Him will be our salvation. Joy is an internal confidence that you have today that despite your circumstances, despite the trials and the suffering and the heartache, that you choose every day to let Christ be in control, that you choose today 
and you're going to choose tomorrow, that no matter what life has for you, that it cannot rob you of the confidence that you have that God is in control, that He's working all things out for His glory, for His goodness, and He is preparing us for our eternity to worship God and to praise Him forever. Guys, every day this week, we'll post a quick few-minute devotional on another aspect of joy and how we can attain that in our lives. I hope this has helped. I hope it's inspiring you. I'll see you tomorrow.